Hi guys, I hope you liked watching that video about Vincent Van Gogh. For our project today, we are going to try making some still life paintings. Well, we're going to do still life drawings anyway. Now, Vincent Van Gogh did a lot of these. You may have seen his painting sunflowers in the video, but let's look at a few more. Here's Here's a different version of sunflowers. He did a lot of them, but I like this one, especially because of the light green background. Here's one he did with some cherry blossoms and a book. So you can have all kinds of different things in your still life. It doesn't just have to be flowers. Look, this one's shoes, kind of ratty shoes. So lots of choices of what you can do. Notice how he has lots of little brush strokes in there. And we can do the same thing with pencil by doing lines. We can do some swirls. Here's one he did of a bunch of books. He liked studying a lot and he liked writing quite a bit. Uh, he did a lot of letters to his brother and that's how we know a lot about him. Here's one with grapes. A lot of them have food or flowers. So those things were available. This one's fish. Don't like to see fish with their eyeballs before eating them. This one has still has the strokes, and you can kind of see on this one if that little thing goes away. You can see how thick the paint was. He would just squirt it on thick and use it, and that's how he got a lot of those lines. And here's what I did. So we're not using paint. I just did drawing. You can use crayon. You can use colored pencil. I just drew that 7-Up can. I could have drawn some of the books and stuff in the background, but you can just draw one thing. It's your choice. If you want to do two, you can. And I'm going to put an activity in Seesaw for us to put our picture in, for you guys to put your picture in. And you can tell me about it, or you can just take a picture. Either one is fine with me this time. All right, see you Thursday.